All right guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this video is gonna go over a few things about motors, uh, the sizes of them, and kind of the application of each motor. So in front of you, I kind of, uh, in the midst of uh, building a new um, buggy, I actually picked up kind of this middle size uh, motor right here, the eight scale, uh, pretty much like a regular size buggy motor. And I kind of saw that I, somewhat completed a set of motors here. Um, so I wanted to just share this quick little video going over the different sizes and kind of what they're used for uh, throughout 1 tenth scale and 1 eighth scale uh, different vehicles out there. So um, ironically I have three Tekken motors right here. I just have kind of a generic uh, brand A uh, brushless motor here on the far end. But um, let's go over each motor kind of go over what their purpose is, and um, just explain some things about the different sizings and what they're used for. So right here, um, this is a 540 sized motor. Uh, this is just a kind of like a generic type of motor I have here in the shop. Um, pretty much these are used for most 110 scale vehicles. So you'll find this size motor in most um, 110 scale touring cars, uh, 110 scale buggies, and up to some of the short course trucks, especially the lighter Fair. So as far as sizing on these things, you'll normally find uh, these all pretty much about the same length and width. So about 50 millimeters right there, and the overall can size is right about 36. So pretty much a standard size of a 540 sized motor. Um, now of course they come with different shaft sizes, different KV, different poles, uh, censored, sensorless. Of course that's common fare with most brushless motors, but that is a 540 size motor. Now up from there, let's say you're running a heftier short course truck, uh, like the Techno or maybe the uh, SCTE. Um, this 550 size motor is right up the alley. It gives a little bit more um, torque, bottom end torque. Um, the lower KV will actually give you uh, some better top end speed if you kind of watch your gearing a little bit. Uh, just to give you an example, 4600 on a 540 size and a 4300 on a 550 size, very, very similar. So as far as this one, you're looking at a length um, of right about 62, almost 63 millimeters, and the width is gonna stay right about the same, and this one's right at 36. So pretty much the same width, a little bit more length here, about, I don't know, almost about a half inch. Now once you get up to the 540 size motors, you are gonna to start to see five millimeter shafts uh, to take basically mod one pinions. Now there are other size pinions out there, 32 pitch um, and 48 pitch that you can get in a five millimeter, but it's really nice to run a mod one pinion on these torqueier motors. On up the line here, uh, this is uh, Tekken's T8 motor. Now this thing is meant for eight scale vehicles or uh, primarily eight scale buggies. Now this is their uh, normal size motor or their 4030 model number. So this thing's gonna measure in a little bit uh, longer or almost about the same size as the 550. And let's see here, about s almost 70 millimeters um, in length. And without the fins, we'll measure this thing up we're looking at right about 40 millimeters as far as the width of it. So you're gonna start seeing lower KVs now, you're gonna have to up the voltage to get some of your top end speed, but you talk about some serious, serious torque, these motors definitely have it. So when you start to get heavier vehicles, eight scale buggies and seriously heavy short course trucks, you can even see these things into some scale vehicles, like I've seen these things dropped into axial race before with some beefed up transmission. So anyways, that is the eight scale motor right there. Now the last one here, this is also a T8, uh, but this one is uh, basically considered a truggy sized motor. This thing adds a little bit more length to that 40 millimeter can and really quick, let's see what this thing measures out at. And we're at uh, almost 78 millimeters. So the same 40 millimeter size without the fins there we go. And we have a very, very uh, torquey motor for even a heavier truggy. So I've even actually ran this motor in my axial 
Yeti XL. That thing is kind of like a 1.6 scale. Still had plenty of power to drive that thing around the track. So anyways, that is my quick explanation of the different sizes and kind of what these motors are used for. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it. I know I've kind of learned my things uh, going through uh, the different years here at the RC Network. Well guys, that's it for now. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now guys. Over now.